To get started, loosen these knobs to point the lights straight up to get them out of the way during installation. You can also use this lock collar at the base of each light to rotate it in the desired direction and secure it later. You'll then need to loosen the camera lock collar to rotate the camera 180 degrees so that it's right side up. Tighten the collar to hold the camera in place. Before you begin installation, shut off power at the breaker to where your floodlight cam will be installed. If you're not sure which breaker controls the outlet where you'll be performing the install, then switch off your main breaker or consult with a licensed electrician. As a warning, installing floodlight cam involves working with high voltage electricity. If you're not comfortable or are inexperienced with the processes and tools described in this video, we recommend that you hire a licensed electrician. Also, be sure to comply with your local building and wiring codes. Once you're sure power is off, remove your existing floodlight. Unscrew it and then carefully pull it off the junction box it's attached to. If the wires are connected with wire nuts, turn the wire nuts counterclockwise to detach them. Then remove your existing floodlight and set it aside. If your existing floodlight has a bracket connected to your junction box, remove this as well. If you're not replacing an existing light fixture, you'll need to install a four inch round waterproof junction box or hire an electrician to install one. Be sure to mount the junction box on a vertical wall, not on an eaves or overhang. If you're installing a new junction box for floodlight cam, the optimal height is three meters or about nine feet off the ground. Check the weatherproof caps on your junction box to see if they're installed and are watertight. If the caps aren't watertight, you'll need to use a silicone caulk to create a weatherproof seal. It's important that no water gets into the junction box. Now you'll install the provided bracket. For a safety and the proper operation of your ring floodlight cam, the fixture must be properly grounded. If you're not familiar with the methods for properly grounding this type of fixture, consult with a licensed electrician. Before installing the bracket, make sure the ground wire coming out of your junction box, which is often a green or copper wire, comes about two inches out. If you have a metal junction box, this wire should be connected to the ground screw in the back of your junction box and have at least two extra inches of length. If your ground wire is long enough, proceed to install the bracket. If the ground wire from your junction box isn't long enough, then run the ground wire from the floodlight cam through the hole in the middle of the bracket and connect it to the existing ground inside your junction box. Either wrap floodlight cam's ground around the screw in your junction box or use the extra wire nut we've provided to connect it to the existing ground wire in your junction box. Do this before installing the bracket, since the ground in your junction box may be hard to get to after installing the bracket. At least two screws are needed to securely hold the mounting bracket, although four screws are included if you'd like to use more. After installing the mounting bracket, Check that the foam gasket on the mounting bracket is flush all the way around the junction box and that your existing wires come through the big opening in the middle of the mounting bracket. This foam creates a waterproof seal between the junction box and the floodlight cam fixture. You're now ready to wire your floodlight cam.